What's going on, folks? We back with another one. You know what I'm saying? And today, I don't know if you see it in the yeah, you probably seen it in the title already. We making Parmesan crusted steak with uh, steak fries or steak frites, whatever you want to do. Okay, um, I'm excited about this one. You see, we outside in the outdoor kitchen, so we about to make this lit. It's hot out here. You know what I'm saying? Like my brain is coming out my ear, but we still here for y'all. Okay, enough talk. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first. We're going to start off by making a homemade ranch. If you guys didn't see on the tribute to Steph, uh, Chef Stew, the burger I made, that was avocado um, ranch. And that was, <laughs> that was lights out. I'm not going to do the same thing with this. It's going to be the same recipe, but no avocado in this one, okay? So, we're going to start off with this recipe. So, you're going to start off with some sour cream. A bit there. Equal parts of mayonnaise Japanese mayo somebody that's in love with this I say no names <laughs> QP and <laughs> equal parts of buttermilk in there too uh, yeah looks like you know that buttermilk is what really makes up uh, that consistency of the ranch all right so I'm gonna set that right here I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of lemon Lemon juice, yes. That's the same lemon juice I had trouble with. In that video, if you if you watched it, we still using it. So it is what it is. And yes, once again, I know this ain't fresh, but I'm using it until it's done. And you see, it's almost gone, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna go just a little bit more. That's probably like a little bit more than a, than a teaspoon. All right. Then we're gonna take some of our parsley here. Give this a rough chop. You didn't really got to dice it up too much. Just enough to where it's not real chunky. Let me get my hand out of the shot. I can't see nothing with my hand there. Huh? All right, that looks like pretty good. Drop that in there. Right. We got some dill here. Definitely got to have some dill in here. That helps make the, the ranch flavor come together. We definitely don't want the uh, the stems. Put this on the top. I've right been putting the rest of this in here. Just use it all up. Get rid of it. Get out of there. All right. A little bit more. Get some stragglers here. You can smell that dill, how fresh it is. Nice hey, look, you if you guys got a, uh, you know, dry dill in your pantry already, you know, this recipe will work with that too. Um, but, you know, I'm not gonna lie. If you can go fresh, it's gonna make this 100 times better. But you know what I say, work with what you got. Use what you have, okay? Don't make a special trip to the store because of something that I'm making that you don't have uh, that's fresh so all right let's give this a chop let's get the stem out of there man creep in there you can really smell fly I'm gonna kill you I promise <laughs> this in and we finally got some chive here take a little stock full about that much and we're just saying that uh, you know, a nice little chop take your time you know if you rush that's when you end up cutting yourself no rush Knife skills will come the more you tend to chop this up or practice your chopping. All right, so put that in there. There we go. 
add just a little bit of thyme in here. Just a little bit, not very much. And yeah, this is dry thyme because I don't have any fresh. Like I said, use what you got. A little bit of pepper. Fresh ground of salt. And kind of mix. Mm, the smell already. <laughs> Okay, this is what's gonna go over top of that steak. A little taste. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Taste that. Try some. Oh, it is good. Mmm. Well, she's surprised. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we're gonna get into our topping that we're gonna put on top of our steak. All right. So. We're gonna start off with some melted butter. This is like two tablespoons. And we're gonna start off with, we're gonna go next with some breadcrumbs. Two tablespoons too? I don't know how much it is. Maybe, maybe three to four. And we're gonna put some Parmesan cheese in there. Okay. I don't have a knife. So. If you don't have this kind of Parmesan, can you use like Parmesan from the no, baker container? No, I would not recommend using it anything dried for this because you want it to melt properly. Oh. And if you don't, if you don't use fresh, uh, either fresh shredded or fresh shaved, it's not going to melt properly. And if you use the uh, the shaker cheese, like I like to call it. It's gonna come out grainy when you put it on top of the steak and you're not gonna like it. You want it to have that melty, velvety taste to it on top of your steak. So okay. yeah, make the extra run to the store for that. Okay. All right, so we got that done. So now, show you guys what we did to the potatoes, okay? Let's go, come on. Okay, folks, so we got our potatoes here and I cut these up. They uh, look like steak potatoes. I cut them kind of thick. Cause I want these to be like, uh, like I said, steak potatoes or steak frites, whatever you like. If you don't want to cut them thick, you don't have to. You cut them thin like, like McDonald's fries or whatever, however you want. Crinkle cut if you have that kind of cutter. Anyway, this is what I'm going with today. So I cut them up, let them sit in water for about 20, 25 minutes just to kill the starch. Took them out of the water, dried them off, and that's what we're dealing with right here. Okay? So we got our temperature up to like about maybe 360 pretty close to 370 and we're just going to take these and we're going to put them in the fryer let them cook for about 10 minutes all right then we're going to take them out let them rest a little bit drop them back in to kind of crisp them up and they'll be ready to go now in between that time we're going to do our steak it's all going to come together folks i'm telling you this is almost done let's drop this in so i don't burn my hand let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and grab my tongs here all right let's get to the steak all right so i got some steaks here that i've let come up to room temperature these are like new york strips so what we're going to do is i'm going to season these up hit them up with some uh olive oil rub them in all right Definitely want some pepper on there. Fresh crack black. It's an awesome little steak. Open that up a little bit. Fresh ground salt. Don't be afraid about heavily seasoning your steaks. The thicker your steaks are, the more you want to season them because you don't want to under season them. All right, thicker the meat, the more you want to season it. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna put these right on my grill here. Then we're gonna go ahead and season this side. Fry 
process of burning my hand. <laughs> and salt. All right, so before I close this up, I'm going to take my probe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Exactly Don't even start stupid. already. And I'm going to cook this to 120 degrees because we're going to take these off and we're going to put them in the, on the broiler to sear up uh, that crust that we're going to put on top, okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop making noise. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Alright, so boom. 120 degrees. Then it's coming off, and I'm going to show you what time it is then. Okay? Alright, so there's a steak here. You want a real hard sear on this, okay? You want a nice crust on this. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's beautiful. I'm actually going to put that one back there. This is what our Parmesan crust is going to be on, okay? So you want this to have a nice crust color. We're going to shut that for another couple minutes. And um, then we're going to roll them over, check the temp. Take. All right, folks, so here's our steaks after they got really nice and seared on our grill out there. And now we're going to take that nice ranch that we made and we're going to top this over top just like this, okay? Just like that. Yeah. The steaks right now already look amazing. Like I want, I want to get into them. The smell, it's crazy. Okay. Now, Spoon this mixture that we made earlier. Ah, oops. Mistakes happen, folks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Fingers seem better anyway. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go with the fingers. This is gonna melt and create that nice crust that we're looking for on top of the steak. I don't know if you can hear it, but you hear my broiler already on. Okay. There we go. So we'll pop it in here. In maybe like uh, five, ten minutes when you start seeing this start to crust over, starting to bubble up. Take it out. Immediately eat. Hey folks, our fries is ready. Let's sit there and let them drain for a little bit. Messed up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Put them right in here. I know normally I would put them on a cookie sheet, but we're not taking them all out right now. Just a little bit. Oh, they look great. I'd eat one, but they're hot. And then you guys would probably tell on me if I ate one. Here's some steak. Mm. Okay, not everything is planned out, but we still got it. All right, a little bit of salt. Secure the perfect picture here. Let's put this right here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Look at the steak. It's perfect. What are you doing with my knife? Told you to bring it. No knife? Okay, one more time. 
That's why you're supposed to plan ahead, folks. Plan ahead. Let's see the look on his face when he's running out here, huh? Here he comes. Let's see. Don't run with knives. I am not Don't running Don't run with, with knives. knives. Okay? <laughs> Making sure I didn't do that. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. So, let's go ahead and cut this. Oh, that crust, man. So, we're at a little bit more than medium well. Okay? Understand that I have someone in my household that doesn't like full on medium. I don't know who he's talking Rest about. Rest assured, mine is. Okay? <laughs> so. Apparently, that's mine, huh? It is. We're going to try to find yours right now. Ooh, it's so hot. All right, here we go. Wow, that was a bite. Mm. Can't believe it's not burning in your mouth. Mm. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Crust. Ranch. Wow. Let's try one of these fries. Ooh, hot. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what about the ketchup? He made fancy ketchup for you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did. All right, so what I did here, I took regular ketchup. I added some pepper in there. That's butcher pepper. If you don't have it, just regular fresh ground pepper. Um, and a little bit of sriracha on top. Give this a nice stir. This will actually cool that fry down a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's great. I don't know why I eat more. These are steak. Don't eat my steak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you seen this great meal that we made outside? If you have the opportunity to cook outside, you got to grill outside, be outside and cook, okay? <clears throat> it's summertime, it's time to get grilling. You made it this far in the episode. Thank you very much. We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hit me up in the comment section. Say what's up. Let me know what you want me to, uh, want me to cook next. Uh, we're going to be doing a series real soon about um, restaurants in my valley, best and worst. Stay tuned to that. That shop episode is coming up. See you soon. Peace, folks.